putting the brakes on the divorce. Lauren's back in the newsroom with today's big rumors. Hey, Lauren. Yeah, Mario, just one of the rumors we're working on. Word is Elon, even though she's not wearing her ring anymore, is going to wait and see how Tiger's sex addiction rehab goes before making any final decision on divorce. Now, Jerry, I'm hearing we know more today about just how bad Tiger's injuries were the night of the crash. Yeah, that's right, Lauren. Believe it. In fact, some police audio recordings were just released, and they seem to confirm that Tiger wasn't hurt that badly. Are you okay? Uh, yes. He's got minor injuries. Was he, uh, doing something he shouldn't have been doing? He's good. All right, Carlos, can you top that? I'll give it a shot. There's a new Heidi Montag rumor out there that her mother is horrified about all that plastic surgery. A source telling People Magazine, believe it, Heidi herself telling the magazine she hid her transformation until it was over. Apparently, she's pretty nervous about facing them. Will her family even recognize her? Probably. She'll be the only person with an MTV camera crew with her. Now, one person who is supporting Heidi, Joan Rivers. But Ag Awards tomorrow. Hey, Lauren, are you ready? Yeah, Mario, I have my dress right here. I can't show you, but I can promise you it is going to be a fun night. The seating cards are set, the food is ready, and in just 24 hours, this ballroom will come to life. We have a full cast of Mad Men and Glee. Nine is coming. The official after party, people... He finally admits that he got real pregnant while Elizabeth was sick. And our exclusive interview with his ex-mistress. Tiger's kids at SeaWorld. Now, Dr. Drew. And John Edwards finally admitting he's the father of Riel Hunter's baby? Believe it, Edwards finally coming clean, confirming, let's face it, Mario, what a lot of people already thought. Edwards released a statement to NBC News saying, I am Quinn's father. It was wrong for me to ever deny she was my daughter, and hopefully one day, when she understands, she will forgive me. Edwards didn't defend himself publicly, instead sending friend Harrison Hickman to the Today Show. Why did it... And Mario, we have the only interview with Riel talking about what attracted her to Edwards in the first place. He was very real and authentic and accessible and open and just gave you a feeling that, that you like him. Hi, right, Jerry, what are you working on? Okay, this is absolute. So, Lauren, you're going to be out of the Screen Actors Guild Awards. I am, and I'm so excited. And you know what? I think Sandra Bullock could win again for The Blind Side, mm -hmm. and it could be Clooney's night for Up in the Air. All your favorite stars on one red carpet, Clooney, Sandra, Drew, Matt, Julia, SAG, the only award show where the actors decide who wins. What do you think is going to be the tightest race for the guys? The guys, I think definitely it'll be between Jeff Bridges and George Clooney. Now, George Clooney gave it to Bridges at the Golden Globe, and he said he was going to win, and he did, and I think Jeff Bridges will repeat. And what do you think about the ladies? This is the race of the night, and it's so tight, I, I can't even predict. I think the edge goes to Meryl Streep, but trust me, it could easily be Sandra Bullock. For the first time, People Magazine is hosting the pre-show with TNT, so what can the fans expect? Hopefully, the uh, pre-show and the red carpet show will be all about stars being very candid and being very controversial. Jen Aniston's on the cover of People Magazine this Versus Johnny, they're dueling shirtless covers, and... You know the Jersey Shore kids. Well, they're fighting over who has better abs, Mike the Situation or Mario. Ooh, that's a tough one. Mario, you are so freaking sexy, and you're my number one Guido, even if you are Spanish. <laughs> The very I see one naked center, but I raise you two very hot magazine covers. One Johnny Depp on the cover of GQ, the other John Mayer on the cover of Rolling Stone. Okay, well, rumor is Mayer's pretty open about his breakup with Jen Aniston. Yeah, believe it. He says he never really actually got over her and calls it one of the worst times of his life. Wow, heavy stuff. I know it is, but we can't end on a downer. Okay, no. you there at home, vote on which cover is hottest and be honest at extratv.com. Speaking of shirtless stars, it's Guess Who time. He's shirtless, he's 60 years old, he's a rock star. The answer is at extratv.com. Oh, I hope I'm looking like that when I'm 60. I don't think you have anything to worry about. But you know Mike from the Jersey Shore? Yeah, yeah, the situation. Well, that's what he calls himself. He says he's got better abs than you. I'm sure he does. Ah, uh, but don't worry, Snooky. She's got your back. Carlos has a message from her. Hey, hey Extra Jersey Shore is taking a Tiger Woods saga. This week, there was a new report questioning Tiger's relationship with Jessica Simpson. Jerry has all the details in the latest divorce news. Tiger versus Elin. Could it be the most expensive celebrity divorce? At this point, anything's possible. And a bunch of stars are sounding off this week about Tiger. And what makes his behavior even more shocking is the last interview he did about Elin right before it all blew up. Carlos has it. Tiger. Oh, 
Okay, those guys are out of control. But James Cameron, you know what? He took his Avatar cast across the pond to promote his film as well. He told AJ it took over 2,400 hours to create one second of action. So sweet. Okay, this is kind of cool. Remember Pee Wee's Playhouse? Well, it's getting a multi-million dollar facelift for the stage. Jerry got the scoop from Pee Wee himself. And you know what? He looks the same as he did in 1986. Look, Pee Wee Herman. Hey, everyone. Is Simon over idle news this week that America's favorite judge to hate could be leaving the show. I mean, could you imagine Idol without Simon? Oh. It could actually happen. Simon Cow leaving Idol? The fallout. <laughs> Golden Globe nominations have been announced and you don't have to wait till award night to hear from the nominees. Yeah, with names like Clooney, Roberts, and Damon on the list, it is going to be one heck of a party, Mario. Jerry was there as the lucky few got the news. The Double life. He says Edwards made the sex tape while Riel was pregnant. And this is all while he was running for president? Did Edwards order Riel to end the pregnancy? Plus, what Elizabeth brought... All right, Lauren, you got some couples news? Oh, I do, and it's good. Major date night for Josh and Fergie, and you are never going to believe who crashed. Crashed the date? Or are you talking about the Renee Zellweger crash? I'm talking about the date, but we'll get to the Renee crash in a second. There's Fergie and Josh and their moms on the red carpet at the premiere of Josh's new movie, When in Rome. Oh, I love that the mamas are there. Isn't that sweet? And with Valentine's Day around the corner, Josh confessed he really doesn't have a plan. I did sort of a Easter egg hunt, but... But he was there without Renee, but today, completely different story. It was Bradley to the rescue. Someone drove into Renee Zellweger's car door outside Bradley's new house. Luckily, she doesn't look hurt. Yeah, she's the one who got hit, but she's had making sure everything's okay. Well, that was a nice one. And speaking of doing good things, Tim McGraw and Faith Hill were honored last night for doing just that. The country superstars arm in arm beaming on the red carpet. Faith and Tim honored with the Courage Award at the 13th annual An Unforgettable Evening, benefiting the Entertainment Industry Foundation's Women's Cancer Research Fund. Whenever we can. I could see you on Glee. That'd be cool. I love that show. All right, so we got big Bachelor news. Yeah, the last Bachelor, Jason Mesnick, is getting married to Molly live on ABC in March. And the new Bachelor's <sighs> dropping hints about who he's picking to Jeannie. Oh, yeah, he's shirtless. Shocker. Take it all in, ladies. We've got Bachelor Jake shirtless in room now. And Lauren, this John Edwards story is getting uglier by the second. Yeah, you're telling me. I feel like I have to take a shower just talking about it. So the latest is that Edwards and his mistress, Riel Hunter, actually slept in Edwards' wife's bed. Unbelievable. Andrew Young's new tell-all also shows just how far Edwards was willing to go to keep his affair and love child secret. Here's Young with Bob Woodruff on 2020. Savior and bad hair. All right, thanks, AJ. Lauren, it's going to be pretty tough to top all that. It might be, but what about this? Michael Jackson's kids performing at the Grammys. Really? That's huge. Is that true? Well, it's not confirmed yet, but Ryan Seacrest says via Twitter just talked to the exact prod of the Grammys hearing MJ kids may sing. That would be really cool. Can't wait to hear what they sound like. All those best-selling diet books, eat this, not that. Yeah, his new one is for people who actually like to cook. He's got low-calorie recipes for those fattening foods. Did you know there's a salad that's equivalent to eating 22 chicken nuggets? There's actually a lot of salads like that. Slim down and save money with the all-new Cook This, Not That. Men's Health Editor in... Right. All right, so Lauren, if Usher were to ask you to dance, what's your go-to move? Ooh, that would be a tough one, but I think it'd be this one. Oh, you commit like that? Nice. If you think that's funny, wait till you see Jeannie. She's funny. No, there's no way Jeannie's is better than that one. Hey, Extra, thank you for coming to the set of the Body by Milk Got Noise. 